Bruh. Okay, good, good. You're right there. Bruh, I swear. I had to modify my controller because the analog, remember on the last video or the video that was before the last video, the little, you know, you got to put the robber or whatever. And I kept complaining about the analog because it would have done. Never mind. I wouldn't complain about the analog about that. Never mind. Never mind. This analog right here, the right analog, it dripped, right? It used to drip, but hey, your boy opened it up. You know, he fixed it, replaced the part. And I had to change my back and my front. Like it used to be blue. And then the back was, uh, I think, Point is, it, it was different colors. I changed it. I fixed the analog, so no more drifting. And I forgot to put this back on, so give me a second. I got it back on. And now it just doesn't feel like my, my controller. Like, now that I know it's a different color and stuff, it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't reach the brand that I was just trying to reach out there. I also got to stop wearing hoodies. I realize in most of my thumbnails, I have a hoodie on, especially with a hood on. I need to stop doing that. I need to change. Yet again, though, it's been cold, so... I'll take it back. I'll just stop wearing the hood if I feel like picking my hair. Most days I don't feel like picking my hair. It's a lot of work. Welcome to a game called The House. Here's the premise and description of the game. And this is by every word I can think of right now. Your friend Ashley invited you to a house out of the city. And now you're going to be there with Ashley, Brian, and Scott. I think we have a crush on Scott. But not me as in we. I mean we as in the game we. So don't think that way. Everything that I say and everything I decide to do within this game is how I would act in a real life scenario. So... Bear with me now, because unlike you, Hoochies, I know how to dodge a weave. Bro, monsters have zero sugar? Ain't no freaking way. The tragic events of that day still intrigue not only the FBI, but the whole country, and it has become one of the most bizarre cases that has never been solved. There are reports of people who say they hear the... Ah, crap. I was trying to read it fast because I knew it was going to hurt and go off. Monster in Japan. Oh, okay. Cut scene, by the way, people. Why does your family have a house here in the middle of nowhere, Scott? I think it belonged to my great-grandfather. The oldest man bought his house at an auction a long time ago. My family never managed to sell it, and it was abandoned for some years. So, now it's mine. Of course they didn't. This house is falling apart. How old is it? Relax, bro. The furniture is almost new. <sighs> uh, uh, I hate when I have that... <sighs> like, at the roof of your mouth, the little snot thingy. I can't believe I left my arrow. Er 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 guys, nobody in my family wants this house. We can do whatever we want here. Nobody would care if we break something, have a party, or even demolish this crap. Okay, okay. You've already convinced me. Ashley and I will go in and have a look around the house. Cool. All right. And then this is me right here, because my name is Amanda. I'm excited for today. I've always had a crush on Scott. Blech. He just recently broke up with my friend Sarah, so I don't want to be a douchebag. I only came on this trip because Ashley didn't want to be the only girl here. Sure, sure. I better hurry up and get my backpack out of the van. We... No. Why? Bruh. Hold on, give me a second. I guess it was a game glitch because I could not stop looking from this angle. Now, I got it now. I fixed it, I guess. Sure. Anyways, why am I stuck out here with you? Why I couldn't be with Brian, you know? Cool with Brian. I don't care if I have a crush on you. You ain't my type. Look at you. Skinny jeans. Jeans probably squeezing your future armors. My God. You disgust me in every way. Anyways, let me go ahead and get in this van. I can't open it. Maybe Scott can help me. Sure, sure. Any excuse to talk to this dude? Hey, dude from Austin Alley. How you doing? I would check the tires before I parked the van near the house. You can go ahead. Don't mind that my voice cracked. Here's your backpack. You can put it in the bedroom on the second floor. Nice. Okay, thanks. Thank you. And listen, don't get any ideas, buddy, okay? I may be looking like a hot scotch of candy, but I'm nothing to touch, buddy, okay? Look at these sneakers. They're red for a reason. I cause murders. I cause murders. Ew, I can run. <laughs> Ew. Hold on, wait, wait. Ew. Yeah, I'm dying. I'm gonna be the person that run in the forest. Oh, the house. Yes, this is one of them 1979 movies for real. But anyway, I'm gonna be one of those people that run in the forest and then trip over the invisible log on the floor and get killed. That's how I usually be. Plus, this is the beginning of the movie. People in the beginning usually die first. Thank God I'm not blind. Look at this place. Look at the place we're all gonna die at. Woo, let's go. Summer, summer vacation. Scrap, this is scrap. It seemed to be a piece of an excavator. I don't even, wait, I know what it is, never mind, I, about to say, I don't even know what it is. At first, I thought it was Santa's sled, but maybe maybe my imagination getting out of, out of hand. Uh, yep, yep, this place have no door, I'm going to get strangled here. A bucket, I don't need a bucket. Sure, sure, we don't need it now, but 
we're gonna need it eventually. That's how it always is. You know, anything that's around that you can interact with, you're gonna need it later. And this is the forest where creeps gonna be waiting behind trees and in bushes, waiting to make their move, especially that little area right there with no grass. Ah, oh, yeah, we're definitely gonna see somebody there. Always scout out the place you claim to sleep at. Let's go ahead and go inside. We're gonna die, boys. This this is just how it be. And this is Brian. Brian over there. Uh, hold on. What's this? Newspaper. Ah, oh, crap. I shouldn't have clicked it. March 6, 1944. Missing Noah Campbell. Two days ago, the 70-year-old boy Noah Campbell was hunting with his father when he disappeared in the woods. Today, the police found the body's, wait, the boy's blood in a piece of his pants in an area known in, wait, known to inhabit mountain lions. The boy's body was not found at scene, indicating that the boy managed to escape the attack. I'm terrible at reading, okay? So, I can start good and strong, but boy, along the way, if it's a fat paragraph or two, you lost me. I'm that person in class that you don't call on, okay? Brian, what's going on, my man? You got an A on your freaking jacket, even though that A doesn't... It, Brian don't start with an A. This place doesn't look so bad. Ashley must be in the bedroom upstairs putting her things away. Okay, all right. I bet y'all did something, though, because y'all two were the only one here, and me and Scott was way back there. So what y'all did these past five minutes, because I explored around the house a little bit, too, so I know for a fact y'all had to do something while y'all was... You know, alone. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I won't judge. I won't judge. If I see a rapper, though, I'm calling the police. Ashley's underage, bro. She's underage. Ashley. Ashley. It's locked. Crap. Ashley. I should have put my things away first. Okay, so I guess I don't put it away in there. Ashley. Where are you, girl? I know you hear me. I'm the only woman here with this type of voice. This deep, malicious voice, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, you're in there. Ugh, ugh. You look weird from the side. You don't look like Ashley. You look like your name should be Kimberly. Hey, put your stuff on the other bed. I'm going downstairs to drink some water. Okay, you gotta be rude about it. Why I can't put it on your bed? Why we can't just share? Why we can't just have a good old girl sleep on one bed night? Why you gotta be weird? Why you gotta be weird, Ashley? Now I can meet everyone downstairs. Oh, she gone. That girl freaking gone. Girl don't heard me suggest something, decided she feel weird. Well, maybe I'm weird, Ashley. Wait, oh crap, never mind, take it back. Where everybody went? I told me everybody downstairs and everybody gone. Ashley? Oh, Ash, Ashley, oh, here you go. Ashley, why you left me up there? This damn tap doesn't work. Can you go outside and ask Scott to fix the crap? Tap? Scott, my man, my boy, my demigo. Hey, so uh, Ashley in there being hysterical. She's talking about a tap. I don't even know what a tap is. Unless you're talking about tap water. But tap water and tap, I think those are two different things. Explain why that's not working to me, Scott. There seemed to be some problem with the plumbing in the house. Oh. Brian told me. We're going to the next town to buy some drinks and something to eat. I will call a plumber as soon as I get there. We have to shake this place up. Did you bring a radio? This is a very old house. There must be a radio somewhere. Can you and Ashley look for it while we do the shopping? Sure, sure. Hey, you want me to make your sandwich for you too? Hey, wait. No, wait, you ain't even asking me what I want. You're going shopping, but you don't know what I... Okay, well, that's cool. You don't even know what I eat, buddy. You can bring back a whole peanut butter jelly sandwich, and I could be allergic to it. the bread. Who knows? You, you ain't even asked me. Wait, what is this? Uh, it is very dark in there. How you know? You ain't even go... You know what? Don't, don't question it. Don't question it. Ashley, baby girl, where you at? It's just me and you. The boy is gone. We can finally show our true selves. We can take off these wigs. Take off this shirt. These tight jeans of ours. Still locked. And we can do whatever we... Oh. Ash, this not the same room that we, no, nah, cause our backpack not in here. Key, oh, got a key. Uh, old paper, crap, more reading. Honorable discharge, this is certified that Henry F. Smith, Medical Research Department, Army of the United States is hereby honorably discharged from the military service of the United States of America. This certificate is awarded as a testimonial of honest, uh, honest then? On, honest, I don't think I'm reading that right. Faithful service to his country. Date, 13 September 1943. Okay, so Henry was in the army. Don't know why I needed to know that, but I'm guessing this is in Henry old house. Sure, sure, but where's Ashley? Ashley, baby girl, I know you hear me scream your name through these halls. Where you at? You here, baby girl? Nope. Can I go through her? I'm gonna go through her stuff, right? No? Come on now, we could be nosy for a little bit. Ashley? Bro, did you just die on me? Did you go to the... Oh, okay, cool. Why you in here? There's not... What? Why? There's not even freaking chairs in here. What, what are you doing in here? I would help you, but I don't want to wear out my fingernails missing around in the old house. Wait, you can put the radio on this table if you find it. 
Okay, sure, sure. You don't want to help me because you're afraid that them cheating fingernails you have on your fingers might fall off in this house and you're going to have to look for it. Cool. Understood. By the way, Brian don't like you. I know the girl that he actually talking to, so, you know, you're a side piece. Remember that. Oh, wait, I got a key. Yeah, because I picked up a key and now I can come in here. Cool. Smart. I am the smart one. Wait, wait before I grab that flashlight. Maybe this would be useful. Now we're talking, boys. How do I? <laughs> yeah. In case I have batteries to worry about, I'm not going to have it on right now. Take the radio. Give me this. Hey, look at me. Ooh. Ah, oh, yeah. Who don't want me? Come on now. I'm delicious. Ashley, girl, you won't believe what I found. Look at my hand. This strong beatbox. If I hit somebody with it, they going to die. So anyways, let me put it on here. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. It's not working. It seems that the batteries are missing. Come on now. Can you help me now? I would help you. Ah, shut up. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And I got to go look for some freaking batteries, too. That's, that's pain. Hmm. Oh. I can go. Oh, yeah. Which explained the flashlight. True, true, true. Oh, yeah. I'm dying first, I see. Hello? Even though I tell people that I see play games like this, tell them not to say hello, but I do it anyways. I thought I heard something. Uh, nothing going to kill me, right? I'm not going to die here. This is not where my story ends. Nah, I doubt it. I doubt it. Where would... Oh, there's something over there. Uh, before I do such... Before I do such, can I check this? Nope, nope, nope. All right. Now, me personally, I would have just called it a day. In fact, I wouldn't even be on this trip. I honestly... Oh, batteries. But before I grab that, just in case something happens. Before I even decided to come on this trip, I would have said no. Like, why would I go out to a place I don't even know? And then if I do get there and I see how the house looks, I'm going back home. I'm not staying around for this. Rebuilding brain tissue seemed crazy at first. I have worked with this all my life and now they discarded me like an animal. I served so much time, so many secrets, so many deaths. They forced me to sign the confidentiality document so all my work, my life story, stayed in the army. Something tells me Henry is not happy about the fact that his stuff got discarded. I'm thinking Henry gonna be the killer. Collect the batteries. All right, Henry, if you're nearby, I bet this is where he sleep too. Can I go in here? Bet it's locked. Knew it. See, see, see? I'm putting pieces together. Henry, if you're nearby, please kill everybody else. Let me go free. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my clothes. I'm too sexy for the die-off. I'm, I'm, I'm too sexy for it all. Please. Ashley, she's a bastard. She's upstairs. She got fake fingernails. Kill her. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, no. Hey. I'm a little dizzy. I must be dehydrated. Sure. That's what we're going to call this. So... That was me blacking out and not the house losing power. Okay, cool, cool, sure. Thought it was weird that the daylight's open, but you know, I'm suddenly seeing darkness. Ashley, <laughs> friend, if you heard me screaming about killing you first, it was a joke, it was a prank, you know, <laughs> just me being me. Put the battery in. There you go. It's now, it's working now. I'll ask Ashley if she brought a bottle of water. Hey, you got some water on you? You know, anything to fit? That's going to be the last song we hear tonight, isn't it? Anyways, did you bring a water bottle? No, I wouldn't have thought that this dump would have water. I'm not feeling very well. I'm a little dizzy. If I know Brian and Scott well, they won't bring anything non-alcoholic to the drink. To the drink. I need to... Ah, I can't breathe. There is a well next to the house. Go there to drink water. If you get worse, we can go to the hospital. Sure. I am sure it is nothing serious. I'm going there. Can you come with me? Because all of a sudden, I don't feel safe. You know what? I don't need you. I don't need nobody. Look at me. You know who I am? I'm Amanda. I'm sexy. Nice to know that the sun is still up, though. At least I know it's not nighttime all of a sudden, so that's good. I don't have to worry about somebody coming and kidnapping me. Where's the well, though? I haven't seen the well coming in here. Wait, that a path? Bro, this a path right here? It is a path. I already know what this... I'm going to be running through here, and I'm going to... I'm calling everything first. I'm calling everything for it. I'm going to run through there and I'm going to get killed. That's going to be the end of it and that's going to be my life. I don't see a freaking well nowhere. I didn't see no well before either. Even on my way here, I only seen that and this. There's a well by the house? Where? I guess I'll run through the forest then, carefree, you know. There won't be no murderers around here. Plus, I can get well way over here? You think I'm going to risk my life over here? I mean, I'll do it this one time, but who going to... The, the bucket. Told you. Told you we're gonna need the bucket. I bet you're looking at my butt as I run, huh? You're weird. 
You real weird looking at this flat crabby patty I call a butt back here. You know what? I'ma call it first. You see how I'm leaving by myself and Ashley the only one at the house? She dead. I'ma get back there. Her corpse gonna be everywhere. That girl dead. Like her head gonna be upstairs and her body gonna be downstairs. I already know. Yep. Ugh. This is too old. She gonna be dead. I'ma get back in there. I'ma be like, oh crap, she's dead. And now I'ma see the murderer. And then Scott and Brian gonna come. I'ma tell them, but they don't matter because they gonna die. Is it nighttime? Is it getting darker? It seems to have this, wait, this, like, ah, oh, crap, I can't read. It seems that the bucket came with a key. Jeeves. My God, nearly had a, ugh, nearly had a stroke. Collected the key. Cool. Oh, it's still, okay, okay. As long as it's still daytime, I'm Gucci. But actually dead, though. That girl dead as a baby doll. Hey! Hey! Hold on, wait a minute. Hey! Hey! I just seen a person peek around that bush. No. No. Swiper, no swiping. Bad. Bad person. If you're gonna kill anybody, next. Go for a guy. You got a pattern in this thing, okay? You can't go you can't kill a girl, then a girl, then a dude, then a dude. It gotta be girl boy, girl boy. You can't do anything else. That's that's part of this rule. Watch, I'm going here. Ashley's gonna be dead. I bet. Watch. Ashley, are you still alive in here? Oh, I'm surprised. I think I'm feeling better. I found this key in the well. Try to look for where it fits. Maybe you will find something valuable in this house. Why can't I read? Is there something wrong with me? Maybe there's a freaking door up here I can use. Up. This one, bet, it's going in order. I, I knew it, it goes in order. I am so smart. I don't deserve to be back. Oh, this place is empty. I expected something more interesting. Hmm. Oh, they here, nice. Anything in here for real before I know? All right, they're here, cool. We had some unforeseen problems. I had to call this plumber who can only come tomorrow morning. He brought this drink. Wait, he brought the drink. Did you find the radio? Yes, it was on the, it was, ah, my God. It was in one of the rooms on the second floor. Right, what are you waiting for? Let's party. This is a lame party already, I can hear it. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. New dances. New dances I'm collecting. Oh, yeah, these two right here. Yeah, I'm doing these dances in real life. Ashley, what are you waiting for? Come dance with us. Mm, maybe later. Maybe later. What about you, Brian? Do you like my new dance moves? <laughs> no. You deserve to jump off a bridge. How about you over here, buddy? Hey, Sky, what are you doing over here, buddy? The music's cool. Ah, yeah, you're lying, but you know, it's, it's Gucci that you're lying to me right now. All right, so uh, at y'all party, I'm gonna go ahead and try to be paranoid in the corner somewhere. Oh! Bro, that was a gunshot. Somebody just got shot in there. Did, did y'all not, did nobody, hold on. Did y'all not hear a gunshot? No. Am I, no. I'm not the only one that heard that, right? There, Okay, okay, so I'm gonna be the only one that investigates. I don't wanna, I'm not checking down there. Mm -mm. Let me go upstairs, let me go upstairs. Hello? Murderer? Murdery? Let me look in here, let me look in here. This was empty. Who? Who? Look at this, look at this right here. I'm not crazy. Ah, that wasn't there before. That was, this wasn't there, that, that this wasn't there before. If I go downstairs, they just gonna keep dancing, so it's, it's up to me. There's a whole hole in the freaking wall. I'm dead. Oh, oh, someone was living here. The test with the last corpse was almost a success, but it seemed that the body didn't last more than 30 seconds. Sheriff Campbell always hated me. He was sure that I was involved with the disappearance of that damn boy who was his nephew, which didn't help much. They went through my house and found some experiments with rats in the basement, which was enough to destroy all my work. All my progress has now been absolved by the foundation of the house. It is just a matter of time for me to reach perfection. What are you doing with bodies here, buddy? What are you... What, what's happening? Ooh, I can already think of things that you're doing. I just don't want to say it out loud. Uh, after a while, a huge emptiness and depression overwhelmed me. I was lost, but it seemed that God guided him for my purposes. For a while, I was confused. He knocked on my door. His leg was bleeding profusely. I thought of bandaging it, but I felt that 
this visit was not a mere coincidence. I started cutting his tendons. Poor boy, what the, what the? He was screaming without knowing the greatness of his existence. What? I was so year four. I don't know what that word says. That slowly his heart stopped, but this event cleared my mind. Now I knew what had to be done. God guided him to me. I could not interfere in his destiny. Hey! And then this. What the? But what the? F what? <coughs> what do you do? What, what are you gonna do to us? What are you, hey, you're Ashley. I choose. Oh, I thought it was locked. Oh, I was in here. Ah, <sighs> run upstairs, run upstairs, run upstairs. Let people know. Let us go. Oh my God, Scott. Oh my God, my heart. Uh... We'll build a fire outside. I'll wait for you there. Nice to know you're still alive, but because you did that, you almost died today, Scott. You almost died today, bro. What made this whole thing worse was the fact that I was running upstairs. So for you to peep out like that, my God, that made us, oh, it's night. Oh no, how long was I down there? Scott, Scott okay, y'all over here. God, bro, the fact that I ran upstairs and you just boom, come on now. Real life, I would've had a weapon on me. You would've got bopped and then all of a sudden, I would've been in the room. I found a strange room in the basement with some sinister notes. I don't know if I will have the courage to sleep in this house. No one has lived in this house for decades. If the first owner has a dangerous person, he must be in diapers or has already kicked the bucket. I am not sure about that. No imbecile is going to come walk into this house in the middle of nowhere because of his bloodlust. This only happens in the movies. Maybe in Los Angeles. Try to relax a little bit. You must be right. No, nope, he was wrong in fact. We're all gonna die. Don't you think you've had too much to drink? But I haven't even finished my first beer yet. This is the 10th time you have said this and you are always holding a different can. Whatever. Scott, my bro, Urgh. your parents are so cool to give you a house. To be honest, my parents did not give me this house. They are cheapskates. They don't even know we came here. And there it is. Cool, you're the man, Scott. Damn it, Scott, are you serious? I didn't lie when I said that this house is abandoned. My parents do not care. Just relax. The only thing we have to worry about is the eye collector maniac. While brutally murdering his victim, he liked to gouge out their eyes while they were still alive to keep as a souvenir. I heard that his favorite victims were women. Besides, this house was the place where he made his last killing. I have never heard about this. You're making it up. That was a long time ago. Of course you have never heard of it. You told me it was not dangerous here. I was just trying to calm you down. Shut up, Scott. I need to take my allergy medication. I'm going in. Me too. I'm tired of being around these assholes. Come on. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we're dead. Yep, and I got medication. That makes this even worse. And also, have y'all noticed that in a certain light, this shirt from behind, like the, the hair look like two eyeballs and the shirt design look like a freaking mouth? Yeah, not digging this. Not digging any of this, actually. Ashley? Okay, good. You're still alive. So, here what I'm learning, Ashley. <laughs> we're gonna die tonight. Drinking on an empty stomach was not a good choice. I'll eat something. Uh, yeah, as I recall, there's nothing in this fridge. So what you gonna eat? I mean, I did say I have medication, so maybe I gotta take some medicine? Maybe? Uh, I'm afraid to sleep. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't wanna murder man. Henry, I know that's you. Nah, nah, Henry was the cop, I think. No, 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 Henry's the murder. I don't know which one is Henry. I think Henry's the murderer. Henry, buddy. If you're gonna kill anybody, kill Ashley. I'm, I'm telling you, that's the person that need to be killed. Let everybody else free, though. You ain't gotta strangle me to death. Do I got any snacks? Oh, I can look in it. Hmm. Oh, my medication. True, true, true. Took my medication. Can I go to sleep? Can I just die in my sleep? I would prefer that. I'm gonna leave this room. I'm gonna get strangled. I'm preparing for things. Ah. Hey. Hey. Yep, 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 I'm I'm dead. Go ahead, Henry, do the thing. Bro, what is this? Whoop! Come on now, you need to stop hitting me with this. Come on. And I was dreaming, I'm tripping. This medicine makes me a little sleepy. What time is it? Where's Ashley? Ah, yep, yep, so I slept. Uh-huh, Ashley's dead, so is the boys, so is the boys. It sounds like someone's screaming in the basement. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna ignore that. 
<laughs> we gonna ignore that actually. Where are the boys? Let them investigate. Let's all group up Scooby Doo style and investigate. Why I gotta go by myself? I'm I don't wanna be a big girl no more. Ashley? Oh Ashley. Ashley and only Ashley. No one else. Are you uh are you here? Did he, did he take your eyeball? Strangle your boys? Hold on. Oh, I can't check the fridge. Thought I can die fat. Anyways, Ashley, no. Ashley? Oh. Uh, are you, are you dead? You'll let me know if you're dead, right? You'll, you'll scream one more time to let me know you're dead? One scream mean you're getting killed. Two screams mean you're dead. There's nothing here. What's that? I don't know if that been there. Uh, oh! Oh my God, what the fuck? Uh, hey, you like how I bleep myself? It's happening here. What? I don't, I didn't, what? I didn't see anything. I don't see no freaking dead body. Bruh, I don't see where I found that. I don't know where I found that. So running upstairs, don't jump at me. Okay, good, good, good. So I found a dead body, don't know where, and all of a sudden, I'm running, and the music, it's amping up. It's locked, I need to find another way out. I know another way out, because I, I, I ventured, I ventured. It's locked. Oh! Stay away from me. Tell me why I shouldn't pee on you right now and just push you over. Are you a maniac eye collector? What? No, that doesn't even exist. I was just making fun of you. The only person who died in this house was my great-grandfather. He died the first day he came here, but he was old and died of a heart attack. <sighs> I'm gonna be next. My heart racing right now. Ashley ran out to the basement. I thought you would be braver. Are you kidding me? I saw a body in the basement, Scott. Are you trying to scare me too? I'm serious. She might have tripped on the stairs. Her body was in the ceiling. Well, oh, oh, it was on the ceiling. Oh, no one I couldn't freaking see it. Okay, let's check it out. At least you coming with me, right? Bruh. Okay, good, good, you're right there. Bruh, I swear. <laughs> nope, nope. Bruh, it's all locked. All the doors are locked. I can't go through that one. Uh-uh, I ain't going through that basement. You tripping. Can I, come on, come on now, come on now, come on now, come on now. Oh man, oh red, red, red. Okay, I'm going through here, I'm going through here. Bruh, br br what the? Br Brian, what the? What the? Brian, what has this thing done to you? Complete? What the, what are you? A parasite? No, I'm more. I need to get out of this place now. I can't, I can't explain this. I can't explain this and I don't want to explain this. I'm leaving. I'm, I can't move. Okay, sure. Oh, oh, all right, sure, sure. This house is the, the window? Don't, don't tell me twice, don't tell. I jumped out. I'm still, a, there we go, baby girl. You smart, you smart, let's leave. Hey, listen, blood loss is Gucci. We can worry about all that later. Right now, we got adrenaline. We got to go. We got to go. Oh, 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 nope, 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 nope. We're going the opposite way. We're running out of here. Screw it. We don't need cars. We don't need vehicles. We gone. The whole house. Holy Jesus. Oh, Ugh. what is this? Okay, sure. I'm less scared now, but I expected more. We caught. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at the distance. Look at this. Yeah, we caught. We're dead. Yeah, we're going. We're going. We we're not making this. Sorry, Amanda. We Oh, hey, there's hope. There's hope. Keep why you stopped anyways. You know what? Screw it. Go. Go. Drive. Drive. We out. Bruh, the house was alive. That, ex that explains why it was called the house. I never put two and two together.